Welcome back. I'm Ablaut and I have been gone for a while. At least if you were following. And if you're wondering why, it's because I had computer problems. VCV rack is uh, quite processor intensive. And my computer had developed some overheating problems, so it would turn off automatically while using VCV rack. That, of course, is not very conducive to making experiments. So, I uh, have upgraded my PC, I've replaced the thermal paste with something newer and better. I've added a couple of uh, strong case fans. So overall, it is so much cooler now. So, that fixed. I'm currently having some minor problems still. Um, just a few minutes ago, my computer restarted because some USB driver was being naughty. And Windows couldn't handle that, so it said, let's close this thing down and try this again. So I may have to look into this and see what exactly is going wrong. I have reinstalled my mouse drivers and my USB DAC drivers. Don't know what else to do. It seems uh, this is one of these mysterious Windows 10 updates thingies. And things actually get worse. Anyway, not to bore you with that any longer. Let's get to my latest experiment. I actually did this one uh, last night. Well, it was getting late, so I didn't make a video about it. Um, this one was inspired by the Naviar Haiku. They put out a challenge every week with a haiku. And this week it was a snail raises its horns edge of the well. So the edge of the well, I imagine we can hear a lot of echo there. So that is something I've done in my track, um, as you will hear later, unless you've already listened to it on SoundCloud. Uh, so this is the, uh, the cover. Let's go to VCV. Hmm, this is empty. Yes. Because in the Facebook uh, official users group, there was a discussion going on about people uh, having difficulties with making musically sounding things with VCV Rack. So I thought, uh, what would be a simple way to make something that sounds musically pleasing? Well, at least pleasing to me. So this is a very basic template that I have. Um, so the audio output and a clock. There are several clocks that I actually like. This JW one is one of them. There is another one um, from AS. Also has a pretty nice clock. This one. Um, let's go to the clocks. Uh, what else? This one is also pretty nice. I've used this one before. And what else? This one is very popular with some other YouTubers. I have used it, but I don't use it often. I use it go for something simpler. Uh, what else do we have? This one I also like. Actually on my laptop where I've also installed VCP rack, this one is in my base template. And it has the dotted and tuple ones. That is also pretty cool. And it has a swing setting here. So this one is also pretty cool, but 
most simple, I think, is this one from JW. This it's normally on when you put it, but I started it off. Of course, we don't want it at 120 BPM. That's boring, always the same. Also, I like doing ambient music, so I usually lower this. And then we have a clock. Okay, so what next? If we're doing a simple patch, something ambient, we don't want a constant stream of notes on every beat. So the simplest way to get some variation there. Oh, I need to click the filter first. Is the Bernoulli gate. I always forget where to find this one. So we connect this. And here in the 12 o'clock setting, it will give um, probability between output A and output B about equal. And so they both have like 50% probability to be triggered by this trigger in. So we'll set it a bit more towards A because we only need one output. And then what? We need to generate nodes. So how can we generate nodes? Well, one of my favorite ways is the Turing machine. So again, Turing. Here we go. Turing machine. That's a lot of stuff that you may not get immediately. I had to uh, look up some stuff as well about how this works. But we see a clock input, so we connect these. Now, if we let the clock run, we see we get a clock signal. And this one gets triggered quite a bit, but not every time. Okay, now we want some randomness because that's what the Turing machine is good at. So let's just randomize stuff. Okay, personally, I like to set the scale to somewhere here between like nine and 11 o'clock. Um, if you put that uh, higher up, then you get a very wide range of nodes from very low to very high. So I like to limit that a bit. Um, on this side of the 12 o'clock, we get a regular thing, if I remember. Normally it's at 12 o'clock, which means every time, every step it takes, it will randomize. We don't want that. We want some randomization. So now that this is going, I usually put it here or in between somewhere between two and five o'clock. Okay. The length is now at eight. I usually push that all the way to 16. We get 16 nodes that then repeat and get some randomization. But it's fine to use whatever length you like. Now we take the output. Where does the output go? We need an oscillator to actually generate the sounds. One of the simple ones, well, simple, but nice ones that are easy to use uh, is in Audible Instruments, the Resonator. It's one of my favorites. Okay, again, let's do some randomization. Then, there's a four per octave. That is the notes that we get out of the Turing machine. So this, the main out, goes here. And then we have two outputs, odd and even. You can look into that. And usually I get a mixer here. And I use this, the CF master. I like to use red for right and uh, yellow for left. Old school, I know. 
and usually I get a stereo also from CF. It's at the bottom because it's not capitalized. Stereo. There we go. Ah, we get this one again. And uh, let's lower this before we do anything rash. And now we hear stuff. Whoa. But it's not very musical, is it? That's because the Turing machine just generates random voltages, random knots. So we want a quantizer. Quantizers. Oh, very we have many of them, and I happen to like the JW. So instead of here, we go here, and then, ah, oh, very nice. I also usually connect the strum here to this trigger. We may up the, uh, the beats a bit. And you can randomize the scale as well. So now we have F-sharp Dorian. If we don't like that, we randomize again until we find something that sounds good. Same for the resonator. I don't really like this. Let's try again. Hmm, better. That sounds funny. Maybe with less damping. Ah. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. And then you play around with the settings until you find something pleasing. And at this point, and we want to add some effects, some reverb, some delay, and some modulation that we want. We don't want everything to always sound the same way. So that means we need to put some LFOs in here, low frequency oscillators to change these settings. And that's what I did in the actual patch. Let's try to find that one. Uh, edge of the well. There we go. So I have it set to 52 BPM. Bernoulli gate here. But the probability is modulated by Caudal. This functions like an LFO, but it's more chaotic, which I like. Let's hear. And we hear nothing because this is set to bridge because I was recording it in Reaper. There we go. Okay, so as you see, I have uh, the Bernoulli gate triggering the clock here, the strum of the resonator. I had the quantizer set to D mixolydian. And uh, resonator set up like this, 
that was random with a bit of fiddling. And this goes to the first stereo channel. I then added this stuff here at the bottom, Cardal for, like I said, um, a chaotic LFO for modulation, both of the probability here and of some of the things in the resonator. I also added clouds, the texture synthesizer, randomized that, played around with the settings until I found something that sounded okay. So I got a second input, uh, uh, output I should say, from the resonator going into the texture synthesizer. And then the output goes to a second stereo channel into our mixer. And a lot of this again is modulated by Caudal. And to not get too wild swings in the modulation, I have some of these uh, going through an attenuator. I also add a contrast because I wanted some freeze now and then. But for the freeze to be triggered, you need to go all the way up. 10 volts, I think. Anyway, this works. We get an occasional freeze. There may be a better module to do this, and please, if you know one, suggest it to me in the comments. I think overall this is a simple but musically pleasing patch. Feel free to disagree. But that was... Uh, my experiment last night. Okay, I'll wrap it up here and go on to do a new experiment. <laughs>